Um, I'm going to try and print um, number 10 envelope in, um, I'm, I'm in Windows 7 and I'm going to use this paint. Um, and paint in Windows 7 is at uh, 120 dpi dots per inch. Um, and I noticed in uh, Windows 10 it was only at 96 dots per inch, but it didn't seem to make much difference. But if there is any problem, I'll redo this in Windows 10. So we've got a number 10 envelope. Number 10 envelope is nine and a half inches that way, and it is four and an eighth inches that way. Okay, so we just got to keep that in mind. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is um, sometimes when I use a program to do it, uh, every time I go to print the envelope, it's either over there too much or it's over there or it's up there, it's up there. This way here, the envelope should be right in the center. And it doesn't matter really what you do. You can't frig it up if you just sort of follow the simple, uh, the simple directions here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open paint. And um, I'm going to go to print. And I'm just going to go straight to print because I've got to find my printer. So I'm going up to HP Envy here. And uh, I'm going to go HP Envy and preferences. And I have to change this from letter to envelope number 10. And so far it's pretty simple. Okay, so I apply and I cancel. I'm out of print. Now I'm going to go to properties just to make sure it's at inches because sometimes it's in uh, it's in millimeter or it's in something else other than inches. But okay, it's in inches now, so um, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I'll just cancel that and I'll go straight f to um, so the next step is just print, then to a uh, page setup. Okay, so we know we're at envelope number 10, so that all went across perfectly. Now, the problem is we've you can't get rid of margins when you're using um, envelope in HP. So, um, the margins, the top and bottom margin are uh, 1 inch, uh, 0.5 and 0.5, which comes to 1 inch. So we've got to subtract that from what we're using. And at uh, the left and right margins are 0.65 inches. And so uh, 2 times 6.5 is 1.3. So we're going to subtract that from the, from 9.5. Okay, so let's, uh, we know what it is now. So we'll go out of there and let's just go to properties. Okay, so the nine point uh, I said this is not this is nine point five and I gotta subtract one point three. So that's gonna come out to eight point two. Eight point two plus one point three will be nine point five. And um, remember I said it was a, it would be one inch from the top to the bottom. So we've got to subtract that from four point one two five. So that's gonna be three point one, two, I'm not going to use the five because that's going to give me an odd number and I like even numbers when we're doing uh, graphics. So we do an okay on that. And I'm just going to go back into properties and we're going to check that in, um, I want to check that in pixels. And see how I came out with 9 point, uh, 983 and it's not going to really make any difference if it's 983 or 984, but 984 is an, an an even number, and I believe with graphics you should always use even numbers because if you ever want to do halves and that, everything comes out perfectly. So now I got uh, 984, and um, I'm just going to go back to make sure that it didn't screw up my inches. Uh, it says 8.21, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, and 3.12, okay. So I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to type something in, so let's go up here. Make sure the color's black, text, and uh, let's make a text box here. Actually, I could make it right up into the corner because remember, we got margins. And let's go to, uh, let's, I want to make up an address I know doesn't exist Anna Avenue, Ottawa. Let's put 
put in a, let's put it up at K1B. Okay, and then this, I'm going to put in the address where I'm sending it. Now remember, if you were going to do a whole bunch of envelopes, you could just sort of save it with your, uh, with your return address there. Oh, I'm just going to make something up. Uh, Freddy Lightfingers, whoops, capitals on. Freddy Lightfingers. Uh, let's go nine 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 Marshall. Okay, so what, now that we got that, I just have to do uh, file print preview. It should look pretty good. Wow, well, that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna put the envelope in the printer. So, what do you think? No problems at all. And uh, like I say, I'm willing to do this in paint.net or paint 3D in Windows 10. If I get any comments, ask me for that. But uh, I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not using any other programs. I just like something that's nice and easy and that's free and that's usually on your computer. So this is uh, Charlie Gardner, charlieville.com. saying goodbye.